camp, I've still been working on some things. So, with the new year coming up, 2017, I plan on coming out with some in all fitness ebooks. So, I come out will be called Fitter in Five. It's going to help you get accountable to fitness and your eating. It's not hard, it's real, just five weeks, and it's going to help you feel fitter by the end of the five weeks. Now, I'm not promising weight loss, I'm not promising muscle gain, I am promising that you will. Be one step closer to adapting to this fit lifestyle and incorporating it into your everyday lifestyle. So anyways, that's neither not what this video is about. It is about, now I've got my fitter and five already. I'm getting that in the works and that will come out hopefully by Christmas. But you know how I am. So, but that's the goal. But in the meantime, I've been working on a new training plan. Like, I'm very okay with my own physique, and I like how I look. I'm good. I know how to maintain it. You know what I mean? I know how to tweak it whenever I want. But one thing that I want to focus on and for the new year is to grow my glutes. Everybody want to grow their glutes, right? So, testing out some new exercises, see how they feel, see how I can put them in a routine, and see. So, even you can start to incorporate them, even if you don't get my ebook when this comes out, because I'm thinking I'm going to use some of these exercises. At least you can see what Amber likes to do when it comes to her glutes. With my warm-ups, I love doing the elliptical. Um, it really gets me in that range of motion when it comes to tying in them glutes, them hamstrings, them quads, all lower body. And then when you use the arm, it makes it a full body workout. So I normally try to do 20 minutes prior to each workout. Um, so yeah, that's what you see that I just got finished doing. Um, then I went into the single leg leg press. Uh, I like to do the single leg on the pushing with one leg and you'll notice that I'm pushing with one leg but when I on the out on um, the extension part I do not lock out my knee you do not ever want to lock it out and put all that pressure on that knee joint y'all already know we got bad knees so if you can avoid locking it out I suggest that you do so so directly after my single leg leg press I went over to the hamstring Single leg leg curl. Just keeping that theme, the single leg, single leg, single leg leg press, single leg leg curl. So, on the single leg leg curl, I really like it because when you lean over that machine and you press your top of your quadricep against that mat down there, you'll notice that my leg is pressed firmly against that little pad where my quad is and I'm holding on tight because that just totally takes the focus off of every other muscle and puts it predominantly on the glute and predominantly on that hamstring and you really try to focus on bringing that heel towards the glute heel towards the glute and once again what are you doing you're getting a lot of glute action although it's a hamstring machine so that's one thing I've started doing just about on a daily basis is my hamstrings because I know they directly tie in to my glutes and then, still leg pressing, now went to the leg press, the, um, the ISO leg press machine. I'm not even sure what this is called because this is not the vertical because you'll see I do that next. But just the leg press machine. And then you'll see I was doing, this is a good one, a sumo stiff leg leg press. A sumo stiff leg leg press and I was making my dumbbells follow my legs. So, in that range of motion, I was pulling on that hamstring, and I really, really felt my glutes. This is really, really good, and I was trying to go heavy. Then, now, I went into the vertical leg press. Um, the vertical leg press, on the regular leg press machine, I started with two plates. On the vertical leg press, I started with three plates, although I have 25s on there because it's just easier to get off on that machine. So, once again, I tried to take a narrow stance, a normal shoulder width, leg press stance when I was pressing. Of course, once again, I'm pressing through my heels, really trying to feel those glutes. And right here, I was really feeling myself on these deadlifts. I went to traditional deadlifts, but look, I did it with the easy bar. So I'm thinking that bar is like 25 pounds. And then I had the 245s on each side. My math bad. Anyways, it was heavy. Although I did not have a 45 pound bar, it was still, 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 still heavy. So I was just trying to rip it out. Trying to really go slow on that downward part so I can feel the pull in my glutes and my hamstrings and try to control it and squeeze on that up. Uh. 
and then I finish with the dreaded squat. Oh my God, y'all might not know this, but I cannot stand squatting. I don't like to squat. It hurts, and I don't think I'm the best at it. So, I do believe that it's going to be fundamental, it is going to be a fundamental key, fundamental part of me bringing in my glutes. So, I was trying to do it. So, I will tell you, on this one, I did 95. No, I had 35 on each side, and that's a 45-pound bar. Um, and I literally squatted for 50 reps. 50 reps, I squatted with that same weight. 50. So, that was my glute routine for this day. And then after that, I did an upper body circuit because I've also been doing a lot of pretty much full body routines as well. But I just wanted to show you guys the lower body portion. And like I said, maybe you can incorporate it. Maybe you'll get grow your glutes before me. I don't know. But anyways, I wanted to share that. All right. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed. More good exercises, more good workouts coming for you for the new year. So, until next time. Peace.